Now, let me take a look. Strong profanity, like the F word, in the first seven seconds. That's some fucking BS. Moderate profanity, like shit, in the title or the thumbnail. Nah, I took care of that. The video should be monetized, right? This is the uh, fucking YouTube guideline, the bitches that they uh, implemented. But you know it's gonna be just my luck that this shit gets demonetized anyway. Because my whole YouTube career, probably since day one, fucking demonetization been running rampant on this platform. I remember when I first, you know, got into the game, you know, my shit got, I did numbers. I had bread, I was racked up. Come a couple months later, they roll out these masks. Y'all remember the apocalypse? They rolled out some fucking mass demonetization blocks on everybody. When they was trying to push for family friendly and uh, family friendly content and all that BS. Come to find out YouTube was selling, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about that. Uh, YouTube's uh, ad policies have changed a lot. You can kind of glean based on that, that it's affected a lot of people, especially people like me that don't give a fuck what they say. So I think I'm gonna give y'all a little glimpse into the finances of, uh, how much and how much money I make. I'm not letting y'all pocket watchers rifle through my tax statements. Hell no. Now I've been in the YouTube game for like six, seven years now. I've been doing this for a grip. You see the views I got, you see the numbers I put up. You think my ass is rich? Hell no. I was getting demonetized left and fucking right. I was getting yellow mark, yellow dollar sign, yellow everything. They pissed on my channel, bro. I kind of just had to deal with it. I would never censor anything on this channel. I'm not gonna censor myself on this channel that's part of the humor it's this fucky is fuck ass humor bro i'm gonna show you the chart of uh, how much revenue i made monthly i'm only showing you up until the end of 2022 it's like my, my first four to five years doing youtube at the beginning i was making bread and then they demonetized all my shit my income dropped the fuck off i was still uploading videos i was still getting views on them bitches i'm not gonna hit my peak every single time but I should at least over time be making a decent amount of bread, right? Hell nah. Now 2017, that was my first year. 2018, you know, I had fucking movie tickets. Here I had Ain't Playing Games. I had Bread Bank. Bro, I was putting out bangers. And fuckers at YouTube didn't want to pay me for it. That shit is kind of discouraging, bro. I was actually struggling, like heavily. You know, once YouTube started actually paying me for real, that's when I actually started doing backflips on it for Susan Wojcicki. Broke days did wake me up to, I still should probably have side jobs. Things to do outside of just sitting at my damn computer desk all day. I've had side jobs, side things. I, I've done merch. I've done sponsorships to get me out the way when I really need some bread. Speaking of, I played a little game called Town of Sins. The part that flipped my lid personally is the actual content of the game. There's there's certain themes that you'll see listed in the description of the game. They have themes of corruption, non-conventional kinks, and uh, just other general fetish content. Type of person I am. Maybe I, I'm just of a weaker constitution here. This game is a little beyond me. This game had me a little shook, a little scared, TB TBH. Personally, I think the game has some layers to it, you know, to be dove into. It's an adult themed card battler where you play cards, you fuse them, you upgrade them, all these things in order to defeat your opponent. Card system, you know, the card system is great, the gameplay, the artwork, phenomenal, as usual. Now you, you, you play as this guy, you play as this guy right here. And what do you do in the game? You know, you, it's a card battler. You play your cards, fuse your cards, build your deck, upgrade your deck, all that. And the more that you win, the more of all this that you see on the screen happening, the more that that goes on. Now there's a whole system, in-depth system, regarding the combos, the fusions. It's, it's way more, it's way more than I can manage, so. Try yourself. The game is called Town of Sins. Of course, it's gonna be sinning, sinner type shit. They had certain, they had certain things in the game that I had never seen before. <laughs> if you want to see what I'm talking about, you know, check out the game for yourself. It's on Steam. You know, I got the link in the description. Check the game, Town of Sins. All right, enough of that. Enough of that freak ass game. <sighs> Getting your videos demonetized. Yeah, it was, it was roof, it was ruthless. It was vicious back in the damn day. There was the fucking girl that pulled up to YouTube headquarters on some little broomstick shit. Technically, nobody that uploads videos is a YouTube employee, so they can drop your ass off, off the face of the earth if they really wanted to, like certain uh, Mr. Cupcake Man. Bro, imagine I get canceled tomorrow. What am I gonna do? I'm broke. 
I'm, be, I'm, I'm down dirt. Twitter bitches be on my head sometimes. Not gonna lie, bro. Over the years. Anyways, back to this chart. When I started my channel to the end of 2022, I made $116,000. And like, that's not a whole lot. The bulk of that money I made was the tail end of that four or five year stretch. I was broke. I was still in college, you know, in the first little bit. I was in college. You're supposed to be broke. But once I started YouTube, I stopped taking student loans. So here's the thing. I thought... You know, I'm making bread on YouTube. I'm going to continue to make bread on YouTube. So I might as well do myself a favor in the future and start paying down some of the debt I will be incurring through student loans. Instead of taking the student loans, I'm going to just pay out of pocket for fucking college tuition. If I've ever lived through anything in my life that I regret, it is that decision right there. That fucked me up. That, that set me off on some crazy ass trajectory so that I'm still like, ooh, God, ooh. Anyways, I was paying, I was meant to be paying 3000 a month. You can see what the fuck happened to my money. I had to like get some help from my parents and a bunch of other BS. Like it was just, it was bad, bro. I did manage to decrease the total amount of debt that I would have had in college in half. But oh boy, did this whole demonetization shit hit at the worst possible time for me. It was like scary bro i was scared let me give you a, a couple of examples of some videos i uploaded years ago i'll show you how much money they made in the short term and then over the entire length of time that the video has been uploaded so chicken bisque it's a video i uploaded in 2021 here's the metrics for the video lifetime i'll also show you the metrics for the first seven days that the video came out almost 300,000 views in the first seven days and it got me about six, seven hundred dollars. Damn, this is a good ass video. This shit got me the 2.3K subscribers in the first seven days. That's a banger video. This is normal. This is average. And this is actually one of the better platforms to make money on. 2.6 million views over the last three years. Made about $7,500. That's about average. That's about normal for YouTube. It took me a long time to get to normal numbers. Let's look at the uh, second most viewed video on my channel uh fucking bread bank chicken bisque got less than three million views made seventy five hundred dollars bread bank should have made at least 15k fucking video got demonetized day one six million views seven hundred fifty dollars bro it's fucking tragic and i've always thought of like oh what if i re-uploaded it it's probably gonna get monetized. If I re-uploaded it a couple of years ago, it probably would've picked up, you know, a good amount of money by now, but my ass is crying over spilled milk. There's nothing to be, there's nothing to be gained from looking at the past. Financially, that video was dead on arrival. And this was the case for a lot of my videos back then. It was just like, a, it was just tragic. It was fucking atrocious, bro. There's plenty of videos I've uploaded since then that have made me a good amount of money. Honestly, year by year, it fluctuates so much and it depends on what I'm doing. Like year to year, I can't even fucking tell you how much money I make. I don't even pay attention, bro. It's just the money comes in every month and I, I pay bills. I don't really see people in general. I've seen it here and there. I don't see people talk about like the money they make off of YouTube. Um, I don't even think this is like a, I'm giving back to you guys. It's just like a, I'm, I'm curious about this shit with some people too. Some people I watch, I'm like, how much money do they make off this? I can kind of estimate based on myself, but I just kind of gave y'all a little insight into a little bit of my financials. Don't let little broomstick know I'm making bread because his ass might pop up on me for real. If y'all are expecting a Baku video out of me, because it's been a long ass time coming, uh, wait till this weekend. Um, I am trying to make some longer videos. I think I want to start shooting for 10, 15 minute Baku videos. Ain't that gonna be something. On average, they're five minutes or less. The whole YouTube pushing for 10 minute videos, they want mid-roll ads. They want longer form content. Those make a lot of money, depending on your niche too. I'm in the comedy category, one of the lower paying categories for YouTube. There's just a number of factors lined up, stacked upon me, that's keeping me fucking broke. I'm not gonna complain about the money I am making though, because it is sustaining me, it's helping me stay alive. I'm always gonna be doing these videos, bro. I'm always gonna be doing YouTube, like, till I die or I'm disabled. You pick. Okay, that's enough, that's enough of this video. I'll uh, catch y'all on the next one.